Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to another video of As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Y'all, I found this website that pays you to test hair products. So I actually don't remember how I came across the opportunity to test out hair products. I think there was an ad on Instagram where they were promoting people to come in and sign up to test out their products. Now I will show you guys the pamphlet card. This is from Science Sisters. So these are not just random products that are being formulated in somebody's kitchen. No ma'am, these are scientists who are backing up these products, formulas, and ingredients. And the best part is they're an all black female team that's doing this this is like the cherry on top right here they are all black female team so it's called the product junkie and they are sister science and I'll have more information on how I was able to obtain this opportunity I think I was scrolling through an ad and I saw it so I am really excited because like I said it's not like somebody's just formulating this in their basement or in their house like no they are actual scientists who are in a lab who are working with brands um, that are trying to put out these products so I don't know if these products are for like a big brand or if they're for like a small brand who's just starting out but this is how they were sent to me and they also came with directions on how to use the products. Now, throughout the video, um, I'm going to be using the products and talking a little bit more about them. However, on the brands end, all I have to do is submit a photo of how my curls turned out. And I also have to do a essay, I think it is. What is this? A survey. I have to do a survey and I have to submit a photo of how my curls look. And that's it. You get paid to test out products. How cool is that, y'all? Can't like, I'll be putting y'all on, friend. I I be putting y'all on so that's what we're actually going to do today i need to go ahead and get in the shower wash out my hair and i'm going to actually take you guys with me so you guys can see how i am washing my hair with the products and give you guys a little bit more feedback and i guess talk to you a little bit more about my experience with signing on as a product junkie to test out science sisters uh tester hair products so without further ado let's go ahead and hop on into the shower we are going to be using the sulfate free shampoo a and rinse out conditioner a <laughs> that's what these products are labeled as so i'm going to get in the shower and put these on my hair next and then once we come back from out of the shower i get to put the curl cream a on the left side and curl cream b on the right side of my hair so we'll be doing that on camera as well this is so cool guys and this is actually my first time experimenting with this brand of science sisters and their products and like i said i don't know if they're for like a big brand like who knows if these products are being tested like for the main choice or for ottawa beauty or something like that or shea moisture or they could be a small black owned business that's just starting out and has the funds to send their ingredients and their formulas to these scientists to make the products and help test the products out so i'm excited y'all let me stop yip yapping and let's go ahead and get in the shower all right so let's get started with a realistic wash day before we do peep the shower head friends yes your girl did just upgrade it has multiple like different modes that you can put it in and check out this mode too y'all i was like what is going on that's to help clean the shower so i'll have that linked in the description below if you guys want to check it out but i highly would recommend it the first thing i like to do is just get my hair saturated with water this takes roughly like two to three minutes and then i go ahead and break my hair down evenly um into half sizes and i pin one half up and out the way so i can focus on the other half So we are going to first start off by cleansing our hair with this sulfate free shampoo. Again, I have no idea what's in it. So I'm really excited. And oop, I did drop a little bit, y'all. Comment if that happens to you too, where you drop some down the drain by accident. So the first thing that I like to do is always just put it all over my hair strands. This is going to help lift all those oils and product buildup off of my hair. And I peeped that this shampoo lathered so quickly. I don't feel as though I I used a ton either so that's a, a really good note i try to pay attention to how quick the shampoo lathers and i am going in with my scalp massager i'll try to have this link below too i'm not sure if this brand is still active or not but i love it if it's in the palm of my hand great and it feels so good on my head y'all it has like two different things on there so when you 
are scrubbing your hair it just feels really good and i like it so i just focus on all over my scalp getting my hair clean and getting all that dirt and grime up off of me once i'm done um shampooing i will go ahead and rinse and then re-shampoo rinse and re-shampoo i shampoo probably like two to three times depending on how dirty my hair feels and i just allow the shower head to run the water through my hair getting out all of that shampoo pretty simple right all right so now that we are finished let me show you exactly how i go ahead and condition i'm using this rinse out conditioner and i work in sections guys my hair is going to be split into about three sections so i can apply the shampoo evenly i definitely try to make sure everything is coated now they knew they were wrong for this if you're going to give us a little bit of shampoo the conditioner needs to be twice as big now i know what you're thinking brands always say use a dime size amount i don't even know how that's possible especially with people who have hair like mine it's a little bit more thicker and longer we just need a little bit more shampoo frame and i mean a more conditioner excuse me not shampoo so like i said i do work in sections when i am applying my conditioner i didn't want to apply too much because i'm like i still need to do the other side but that's how it's looking it smells really good by the way um and i liked how it applied to my hair i just wish that i could use some more so of course i went in and used water to help kind of smooth that product on my hair and make sure that it was evenly saturated and yes i'm going in with more because i can feel that my hair is just not as saturated as i need it to be but i was trying to also be mindful that i still need to do the other side as well so uh this is the last section on this side that i'm adding the conditioner in as you guys can see i'm already struggling trying to get the conditioner out so if i do this again or if i can leave a comment i will definitely let them know to put more conditioner in the package and less shampoo because i did not use it, a lot of shampoo but i did use a lot of conditioner but that's how it looks and i'm going to go ahead and show you guys a side by side comparison of what my hair looks like when it's not washed or conditioned versus how it looks when it is washed in condition so you can see the differences the shot's kind of more shinier it's a lot more defined and then the other side it still needs to be um, conditioned so i did go ahead and do the other side i shampooed and conditioned it and let it sit in my hair for about five minutes and here is my tip on how i like to do um my what's it called detangling process i dunk my head underwater like i don't know how people like say they ha take 30 minutes to detangle my their hair it takes me like two minutes to detangle my hair so this might be a good tip for you if you're somebody who struggles to detangle i do it in the shower and as i'm rinsing out the deep conditioner or the conditioner i just have my head completely dunked underwater it just really helps to get those knots out of my hair and that's like my secret on how i detangle now the last step that i like to do is do a leave-in conditioner before i leave the shower unfortunately i did not have a leave-in conditioner so i did put a little bit of that conditioner back in my hair and the only reason i like to do this is so my hair doesn't frizz up while i'm kind of getting out of the shower and you know putting my lotion on put my clothes on i need something in my hair but that is pretty much it y'all i'm going to go ahead and twist this side up i'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side and you guys got to see from start to finish exactly how i wash my hair all right y'all so i am back out of the shower friends so you guys got to see firsthand exactly how i applied the products yes i do have a plastic bag on my head because i could not find a shower cap to sh save my life i'm gonna order some more off amazon all right y'all so i'm gonna take that off i am gonna be doing a wash and go today when i'm doing wash and goes i like my hair to be as wet as possible so i retain it by putting a plastic cap on or a bag <laughs> but we are gonna go ahead and get started friends i'm just gonna i'm gonna show you guys how my hair looks after using and applying the product smelling good looking good and and that's how we are looking and smelling it feels amazing in my hair it feels really really good so i already have somewhat of a part i'm just gonna go ahead and straighten that up a little bit all right so there is my part now the directions because it does come with directions on how to apply the products i do have two creams here in front of me so here are the creams that we're going to be applying for the wash and go now they did not send any gel so i'm not too confident in this wash and go because i need cream and gel to have a bomb wash and go it says apply product a on the left and apply product b on the right so we'll be applying product a over here and product b over here so we are actually going to start off with product b i'm going to twist this up and we'll start with 
A. I meant B. Child, don't get these confused. All right, so in order for me to do a wash and go, I do like to work in sections. Again, I'm so nervous because they didn't send me a gel. They did say that I could do a wash and go or a twist out or braid out, but we're just going to do a wash and go. So I just have my first section of hair right here, and then I'm going to twist everything else up and out the way, y'all. Now, for my wash and goes, I don't like to use any hair tools as a opposed to like uh using a detangling brush or whatever because it i don't know for when i when i use a detangling brush it literally drags the product all the way down and then the top is uh poofy and the bottom is like really defined so i just like to rake the product through my hair so like it said we're gonna use product a on the left and then product b on the right y'all and i don't know like what brand this is i don't know where this came from well i know where it came from it came from a lab but i want to know what brand it is like if, if the brand winds up going with this formula like are we going to get an email saying hey this was the brand that you were using they're now on the shelves or they're now available online or in stores like i would love to get an email like that so i can go and be like hey i used your products <laughs> but yeah so here is the product right here let's go ahead and open it up all right see that safety seal we love it we love it cool beans smells good it smells like all the other products the shower products were okay they were not bad at all they were very lightweight and i like them i like the conditioner i love the shampoo it lathered so quickly and it was very concentrated as well so i like the um shower products a lot and now we are ready to move on to styling so i have here with me my first section of hair all i'm going to do is just go ahead and take some now because i can use this entire jar on this section i am going to be a little bit more heavy-handed with these products because it's thick I like how thick it is. I like how it feels in my hand. I like how the product is starting to like warm up. I do like that. So let's go ahead and start to apply that product all over the hair. And I am going to be doing the raking method. Y'all, I don't have much faith in this hairstyle. Yeah, so we're not going to get any definition, unfortunately. So, okay, then we're just going to apply as much cream as we can. And then that's just going to be it. Like, I don't know who does a wash and go with just the cream, but I guess I do. Okay, y'all, so I just applied the product. It's actually doing an okay job i right now am working in the kitchen area so it's not going to be as defined as when we start to work our way up but i'm just going to go ahead and keep going all right y'all so here is the product it's working in my hair quite well already again all i'm doing is just applying the cream it has like a a creamy gel consistency so it's doing a really good job at getting my curls a little bit defined but i do wish there was a gel here as well i think if i would have done a twist out it would have been fine but because we're doing a wash and go, we're just going to have to apply these products a little extra heavy, friend. A little extra heavy. Let me go ahead and take down the next section. I do like to work in sections when I'm doing my wash and goes. So here's my hair with no product. And let's go ahead and take Curl Cream B because we are applying that to the right side. And again, I am going to be a little bit more heavy handed with these products because I don't have a, cre a gel. So this is what it is. okay i like that the product can drag down the hair strands that's really nice i am going to apply a little bit more onto my ends just to make sure those are nice and healthy and saturated all right y'all so the 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 cream is working quite well on my hair but we won't know until my hair fully dries so let's just go ahead and keep working up i probably just have a few more sections to go do that one next and then we'll do two more after that and that will be the end of this one. So I don't really have like a strong curl pattern. That's why I actually tend to try to stick away from wash and goes. But I want to give the brand like the real tea on how the product products work in my hair so i think a wash and go is really appropriate my hair used to be damaged really bad and i prefer to do rod and roller sets to kind of change my curl pattern to a more curlier hairstyle so that's just what i personally like to do and on my channel you will see a lot of rods and rollers because that's like what my hair reacts best to and throughout your journey you're just gonna have to figure out like what is it that your hair likes does your hair like wash and goes does your hair like braid outs does your hair like twist outs does your hair like rollers and rods like mine so you can see this is how we're looking y'all getting a little bit defined it's just a just a cream y'all all right we're already on our last section there's a lot of product in here like a ton
all right y'all so this side is completely finished and again this was curl cream b that i just used on my right side of my hair now i need to go and i like the results they're okay they're not bad at all like i i think i just be crying like my hair looks perfectly fine i can kind of start to see the definition to come through i am going to be diffusing my hair so we'll do that as well to kind of see the end results on camera and i'll tell you guys which side i like better once i'm actually done but what i'm going to do i have curl cream a with me now and i'm just going to go ahead and apply i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm going to go ahead and apply this to the left side of my hair i'm going to do it off camera so i can kind of speed through this process and i'll be right back y'all hey y'all all right so i just finished doing the other side and i think i just have to wait for it to dry a little bit to give my honest reviews i am going to go ahead and use the shark air and i am going to go ahead and diffuse my curls now just looking at it it looks like this side is looking a little bit more curlier but again i did do this side first so it's not really fair to compare when this side just got done but i don't know it's leaving like a little bit of a white cast over here where this side just looks a little bit more like curly i don't know yet we'll, we'll wait and see but i am going to go ahead and diffuse my hair before i do i just want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the product junkie this is again the card y'all and I will have the website link below where you can apply to be a product junkie. The people who make the products are sister scientists and they are black women who make and formulate these um, natural hair products for these brands and they send them to us to test them out. And on top of uh, on top of testing them out, we also get paid for an honest review and also we have to send uh, submit photos as well. And that's it. The photos do not get posted on social media. It's just for the brand and then you have to log in and take like this assessment test or this review uh or do like a review what was the exact words got my paper here friend uh a survey you have to take a survey <laughs> when uh you are all finished your hair so i guess they want to know like how the products worked and what side do you prefer better and why so i'm assuming that's what the survey will be about if you guys want to try to apply and become a product junkie so you can also get these products sent to you and test them out and get paid to do so i will have the link below so you can go ahead and apply now i do not know what their application process is on far as is picking who to test out their products I, I think I just had to answer a few questions I'm not really sure I should have like taken a mental note of that but if you click the link down below you'll be able to apply and then if you get approved they will email you and tell you when their next round of testing is and all types of jazz so like I said I am going to go ahead and diffuse my hair really quickly and I will come back to show you guys the final results and also let you guys know which side I prefer better remember curl cream a was on this side and curl cream b was over here all right y'all i will be right back hey y'all all right so i am back i just got done defusing my hair with the shark air these are the results y'all i'm gonna let you guys determine which side you like better here side a okay got some curls that's what we're looking at for side a and here's side b So in your opinion, if you guys can see clearly, what side do you think I'm going to tell you that I like better? Or what side do you like better? Me personally, I like this side better. This is side B right here. Yeah, curls are popping. Curls, mm, this is it right here, honey. They're about 90% dry, I want to say. And what the heck is this? Like, it's a lot of straight frizziness going on not really sure it's it's very frizzy over here so i'm really excited to give my feedback to the brand um to sister scientists and let them know that like i personally like side b better it just took way better to my hair i would personally like to know what was in that cream honey because it's, it's looking nice right her this is looking nice i wish i could have put side b on both sides <laughs> but here is a side a again y'all didn't really take to the product at all it's like frizzy i don't mm -mm, mm -mm. and then side b is a lot more uniform the curls are beautiful it's more shiny the curls are more defined there it is i personally prefer side b better than side a 
<laughs> well, hopefully you guys got a chance to learn a little bit more about how you can become a product tester too. Again, if you are interested, I will have the link in my description below. All you have to do is just click on it, apply, and if you're accepted, they will email you and let you know the next steps. I am so happy to be testing out products. And again, you do get paid for your review as well, which is nice. And yeah, y'all, you have seen it all from start to finish. Me getting in the shower to me washing my hair, styling my hair, and giving my final thoughts on both sides of my hair as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this piece of content. If you like natural hair, if you are trying to grow in natural hair, if you just want to learn different ways to make money with natural hair, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, y'all. That's all I talk about on my page is um, natural hairstyles, heat-free hair tutorials, rods and rollers, how to get money, how to get paid. So if you're just like me, friend, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, y'all, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. Thank you again for tuning in, friend. You know I love y'all. You know I love y'all. All right. My name, <laughs> my name is Aaliyah. This is As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.